and it doesn't leave you looking like a ghost with the back camera and the flash. Tested and approved. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Idani, but you can call me Nunu. And today I'm going to be sharing my favorite drugstore makeup products for a cheap price. And when I mean drugstore, I mean the beauty supply, Walmart. Is Target a drugstore? I don't know, but I'm also gonna show y'all my favorite Ulta products, which are on the cheaper side too. So yeah, and I just did my makeup. So yeah, let's get right into the video. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with my favorite concealers. I'm gonna show you the drugstore ones and the ones that I got from Ulta. This one, I know y'all have seen this everywhere. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is the concealer that I actually started with and I actually still use it to this day. And it is in the color Cool Tan. This will get you right, especially if you're just starting. It's cheap and it does the job. If you want good concealer that's cheap, and has good coverage, this is the one for you. So these are the two concealers I use from Ulta. They are the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I feel like they have these at CVS and Walgreens. But I don't know. But um, this is in the color Mocha. This is the one that matches my skin complexion. And then this one is mahogany yeah mahogany and this is a couple shades lighter if y'all can see the difference i love them great coverage i don't know the price maybe nine dollars i don't know but they're still on the cheaper side nyx can't stop won't stop for foundation, I do not use foundation, but I'm gonna put some that I've used in the past on the screen somewhere. The Maybelline New York Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer is something that you can use for foundation. And I know e.l.f. has a tinted something or like a glow something that people use for foundation primer so this was the first primer i got this is the hard candy and i got it from walmart it is the sheer envy three in one primer lotion and it's pretty good i mean nothing special but now i don't use a primer and i use let me show y'all the glow recipe water glow nip nice and two drops yeah watermelon glow dew drops and this really gives off like a sticky feel so the makeup can stick to your face but it's like a hydrating thing too so it makes my face feel moisturized this i actually got for free this i actually got for free for the Sephora little birthday thing. And I'm pretty sure this size isn't expensive, but then the bigger sizes get a little pricey, but I'll still put them on the screen. Okay, now for blushes. I only use two blushes and they're cream based, but I wanna get into the liquid blushes. So yeah, when I get into that, I will tell y'all about that. So the first one is a drugstore one and it is from Walmart. It is the Milani brand in the shade Cheek Kiss. And I really like this one. I put a dent in my nail literally today. But I really like this one. I will show you guys a picture of what it looks like if I can find it. But yeah, this is very nice. It's not 
too pigmented like you have to keep on putting layers on to really make it pigmented like I have some on right now and it's a very subtle you know chill and then this one is very pigmented and this is NARS this is not a drugstore one but it is on the cheaper side this is in the shade orgasm and look how pigmented Ooh, that's super pigmented so yeah i put this on for like if it's a special occasion and then this is my everyday one so yeah this was this was not expensive at all and this one wasn't either but once again i will put the prices on the screen now setting powders <sighs> for setting powders i'm sorry to say this but you cannot choose a super cheap setting powder and i had to learn that the hard way if y'all can find a drugstore powder that doesn't make you look like a ghost, then let me know. But I'm still going to show y'all the drugstore powder that I used to use up until yesterday when I found out I looked like a ghost with the back camera. And then I just picked up some new powder today from Ulta. So yeah, I will show you guys those ones too. The drugstore powder it is the NK makeup perfection finishing powder in the shade dark y'all this is dark hold up dark it's not dark one thing about drugstore powders a lot of the time it's not for dark skins but yeah this is kind of how it looked Ooh. would I recommend this yes if you are a lighter shade than me if you're not then no immediately no because you will look like a ghost so yeah this was like oh the price is still on there it was dang it was $3.99 so very cheap honestly now for the powders that I just got today that I used this makeup look on and I tested it out with the back camera. I will put the picture here and it was cute, it was giving. So I'm going to show y'all right now. First one is the Morphe. It's in the pink color, the brightening pink. And this is specifically a setting powder. I will show y'all what it looks like. Ugh, so pretty. If y'all can see that color. Yeah. 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 This, I should have been on this. I was scared for the pink little pigment, but it gives, it gives. It doesn't give bright pink. It's like a very subtle pink and it doesn't leave you looking like a ghost with the back camera and the flash tested and approved and now for my finishing powder I got the Maybelline New York fit me loose finishing powder in the shade deep or 35 and this isn't even the darkest shade so you see the difference between the dark for the drugstore and then this is just deep and the dark one of course and this one is darker but this one is really good also and this is actually a drugstore one i got it from ulta but you can get it from cvs walgreens and this was nine dollars 9.99 i think I think, I think. It makes your face look very, uh, like brushed. I don't know what they call it, but it makes your face look like there is like a filter on it. It makes your skin look great. So yeah, for this price, I really recommend this finishing powder. 
Okay, I'm gonna show y'all my mascaras. I have three, two drugstore ones, and then one non-drugstore one, which is the Fenty one. So, this one is probably the closest one to doing what the Fenty one does. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Stretch and Strengthen Mascara. I was using this for years before I got the Fenty one. I really recommend this honestly and I don't remember how much this was though. And then this one is the LA Colors Bold Lash. I mean, it's good. I mostly like the brush. Like the brush really stretches out my lashes. So yeah. And then of course the fancy one. This is pretty expensive for mascara, not gonna lie. How much is this? Maybe 25? 22? I don't know, but I really think the Fenty Beauty Mascara is worth it. I literally, I literally got another one that I haven't opened yet. Cause it's just that good. If you want to spend some, you know, get the Fenty one. And if you don't, you can get the CoverGirl one or the LA Colors. Yeah. I feel like I'm pretty good at this video because I did start off with drugstore makeup and I'm now just recently, you know, building up my makeup to higher, better makeup so I can show y'all from two different point of views and give y'all a real, a real, my, my like real thoughts. So yeah, I just started using bronzer and it's drugstore bronzer and it is the L'Oreal Paris Infalli Infallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzer in the shade Deep Dark. I really like this guys, like I really like this. Look at that, that's a pretty shade. It comes with, if I can open it, ooh, it comes with a mirror too. And this was 18. So it is on the pricier side for it to be drugstore, but I got it from CVS. So I'm thinking if you go to like Walmart, it'll be cheaper, but I definitely think it's worth it because the color is very pigmented and it looks good. And I actually use this for contour too. I used it on my nose today. If y'all can kind of see that. But before that, I was using the Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour. This is actually really good too. Like, I really like this. So sometimes I'll use this first and then the bronzer on top. So these together or separate are really good. And this is a drugstore product too. I'm not sure how much it was, but I got it from Target. Okay, next we're going to do setting sprays. Sorry for the air, please ignore that. So this is the drugstore one and this is the Ulta one. This is the LA Color setting spray. This is really good, I was using this for years, but it does come out very like, like harsh and hard and like in spots, but when it dries, it really melts the makeup together. So I feel like this is a really good starter drugstore one and it was cheap. This one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Vitamin C setting spray. And this I really love, I really love. I got this from Ulta and it comes out as a mist and it also brings my makeup all together. And yeah, I really like this. This was still on the cheaper side though. I think it was 15, I think, yeah, $15. So I feel like this is really good for that price too. I wanted to also point this out. This is a color corrector. What brand is this? 
True Complexion HD Corrector. You can find this at the Beauty Supply Store, um, Family Dollar. This is definitely a drugstore product, but it's really good. It really hides the blemishes and it lasts a while, so and it was like $2. I was kind of hesitant on showing this because it isn't the cheapest product, but it is the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Highlight. This is what it looks like, super pretty. Super pretty on the skin, like. Like what? Trophy Wife? But this is like $35. I mean, it lasts years. Like, I've been using this for years now, so I guess it's worth it but it kind of defeats the purpose of this video because I was supposed to be showing y'all cheap makeups, but if y'all want to go ham on highlight, this is the highlight for you. And if you don't want to go ham, you can do the LA Colors Let's Teach High Latte Palette. And you can use some of these for highlight, you can use some of them for eyeshadow, bronzer. There's just a lot of colors and they're pretty and they get the job done. And this was $4.99, so yeah, really good. Lastly, if y'all haven't tried the NYX Butter Gloss Lip Gloss, I just got them today, I got three. Cause I went on TikTok and I saw how good they were. So I had to get three and I'm gonna show y'all. These are gonna get you right. I had, which one did I have on? I had on Praline, but I mean, it's gone now. I mean, not really. You can kind of see it with the brown lip liner. Um, I also wore the cream brulee. I will put a picture up for y'all and I haven't tried the Madeline one yet, but I know it's gonna eat. So if y'all are looking for nude lip glosses for cheap, these were $6 each. And I really think it's worth it because they look good. They look good. So yeah, and right now Ulta is doing a buy two, get one free. So that's why I just got three. That is the last thing I'm going to show y'all. I know I haven't posted in a while. I've been going through some stuff, but hopefully I am back for good because some stuff is coming up that I want to record. So yes, if you haven't already, please like this video, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed and see y'all next time. Bye. Of course the air goes off after I finish filming.